What if we could actually replace the damaged brain cells? Not just mask the symptoms with pills, but fix the root cause. That's the promise of stem cell therapy. And in 2025, we're seeing clinical trials that are safer, more effective, and closer to approval than ever before. By the end of this video, you'll understand how stem cell therapy is turning that dream into reality, especially with the latest clinical trials rolling out in 2025. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to Senior Health Formula so you never miss an update on Senior Health Breakthroughs. Let's get started. So, what are stem cells and how do they work? Think of stem cells as the body's master builders. They're blank slate cells that can turn into any type of cell you need, like a superhero with shape-shifting powers. In the context of Parkinson's, scientists are using them to create new dopamine-producing neurons. There are different types, embryonic stem cells from early embryos or induced pluripotent stem cells, iPSCS, made from your own skin or blood cells reprogrammed in a lab. The beauty of iPSCS, they're from your body, so no rejection issues. No need for those heavy immunosuppressant drugs that can weaken your immune system, which is crucial for seniors who might already have other health concerns like diabetes or heart issues. Now, let's trigger your curiosity with some history. Stem cell research for Parkinson's isn't new. It dates back to the 1980s with fetal tissue transplants, but those had ethical issues and limited supply. Fast forward to today, and we're in a golden era. In 2025, multiple trials are showing real promise. I'll walk you through the key ones with study names and details so you can look them up or discuss with your doctor. First up, the Blue Rock Therapeutics trial with their therapy called BEMDANE PROCELL, also known as BRTDA01. This is a big one. They announced in January 2025 that they're advancing to Phase 3, the final stage before potential FDA approval. In their Phase 1 trial published in Nature in April 2025, they transplanted stem cell-derived dopamine neurons into 12 patients. What happened? The cells survived, integrated into the brain, and started producing dopamine. Patients saw improvements in motor symptoms, like less tremor and better movement, lasting up to a year post-transplant. No major side effects, which is huge for safety. Blue Rock, backed by Bayer, is now enrolling for Phase 3, aiming to confirm these benefits in hundreds of patients. Imagine, seniors, getting back to activities like golfing or knitting without the shakes. Next, let's talk about the Mass General Brigham trial. This phase my study, launched in March 2025 and detailed in a press release from the hospital, uses autologous stem cells, meaning from the patient themselves. Led by Dr. Ole Isaacson, they've reprogrammed patients' own cells into dopamine neurons and transplanted them. Early results from three patients show the cells are engrafting well, with PET scans lighting up like Christmas trees, indicating dopamine production. One patient reported better sleep and less stiffness. They're partnering with Harvard and aiming for phase two soon. Why is this adaptive for seniors? It minimizes risks like infections, which are higher in older adults. Then there's Aspen Neuroscience's Aspiro trial, a phase one slash two, a study whose six month results were announced in May, 2025. This is the first multi-center trial using personalized IPSC-derived cells for Parkinson's. They enrolled levodopa-responsive patients, folks whose symptoms improve with meds but still struggle. Results? The transplanted cells survived in all patients with no serious adverse events. Motor scores improved by an average of 20 to 30 percent, meaning better daily function. One participant, a 68-year-old woman, said she could finally cook meals without dropping utensils. Aspen is expanding this trial, and it's exciting because it's tailored. Your cells, your therapy. Over at UCI Health, Doctor, Claire Henchcliffe is leading the charge. In April 2025, they published in Nature about a phase two trial where stem cell-derived neurons improve symptoms in patients. Tremor reduced by 50% in some, and quality of life scores jumped. 
They're opening a phase three trial later this year at the UCI Alpha Clinic. This one's using allogeneic cells from donors, but with advanced matching to reduce rejection. For seniors, this means potentially quicker access, as you don't wait for your own cells to be grown. And don't forget Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center, MSKCC, their April 2025 update on embryonic stem cell transplants showed early promise in creating nerve cells that integrate seamlessly. In a small group, patients had sustained dopamine release, easing off times. There's also the Kyoto trial from Japan, detailed in a 2025 review in Parkinsonism and Related Disorders. They used IPSCS for allogeneic transplants, and long-term data show cells lasting over two years with symptom relief. You might ask, is this safe for seniors? Absolutely, and here's why it's adaptive. Trials focus on folks 50 to 80, like you. They screen for comorbidities, and procedures are minimally invasive, often a single surgery under local anesthesia. Post-op monitoring includes MRIS and apps to track symptoms at home, easy for tech-savvy grandkids to help with. Plus, combining with senior-friendly lifestyle tips, exercise like Tai Chi boosts dopamine naturally, and a Mediterranean diet with berries supports brain health. One study from the Michael J. Fox Foundation in 2025 notes that stem cells work best with these habits. Diving deeper into the science for those who love details. In the Blue Rock Phase 1, detailed in Nature, they used human embryonic stem cells differentiated into midbrain dopamine neurons. Transplanted via stereotactic surgery, precise needle placement into the putamen. Efficacy measured by UPDRS scores, Unified Parkinson's Disease Rating Scale, motor parts dropped by 13 points on average, a clinically meaningful change. PET imaging showed 20 to 30% dopamine increase. In Aspen's Aspiro, they use a proprietary platform to generate neurons from IPSCS, ensuring no genetic mutations. Their May 2025 data, all 10 patients had cell engraftment with no immunogenicity issues. One key metric, time spent in on state without dyskinesia increased by two to three hours daily. Mass General's approach, born from three decades of preclinical work, uses CRISPR editing for precision. Their March 2025 launch included patients with moderate Parkinson's, Hoyne and Yar, stage two to three. Early biomarkers, CSF dopamine levels rose 15%. UCI's trial, as per their April 2025 Nature paper, involved 18 patients. Symptom improvement, 40% reduction in rigidity per MDSUPDRS. They're gearing for phase three with 200 plus enrollees. Globally, the 2025 World Journal of Stem Cells Review highlights over 15 active trials, with IPSCs leading. FDA cleared three new IPSC therapies in June 2025 for Parkinson's, spinal cord injury, and ALS, per Repricel's report. Now, the big hope. These could stop progression. Current meds don't. They just tide you over. Stem cells might restore 50 to 70% function per models. For seniors, this means fewer meds, less side effects like nausea or hallucinations, and more years of independence. Imagine traveling to see family without worry. But let's address concerns, triggers like cost or access. Trials are free for participants covering everything. If approved, insurance might follow. Risks? Minor, like headaches post-surgery, but trials monitor closely. Adaptive info for seniors. Pair stem cells with bone health. Parkinson's increases osteoporosis risk, so add calcium-rich foods. Mental health. Mindfulness apps reduce anxiety. Socially, join support groups like the Parkinson's Foundation. In summary, 2025 is a turning point. Blue Rock's Phase 3, Aspen's Aspiro expansions, Mass General's autologous advances, UCI's upcoming trial, all point to a future where Parkinson's is manageable, even reversible.
If this resonates, discuss with your doctor about trials. Search clinicaltrials.gov for stem cells Parkinson's 2025. Sites like Michael J. Fox Foundation list opportunities. Thank you for watching Senior Health Formula. Stay healthy, stay hopeful. See you next time.